G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist and I'm coming to you today with a tyre review of sorts. Effective the time and date of the release of this video, WTB has announced their new SG2 puncture protection technology which features in tyres measuring bigger than 37 millimetres in width. SG stands for slash guard and is a development of their existing mountain bike technology. The new configuration features 120 TPI casings and the SG2 technology, which is a lightweight and ultra thin nylon insert that provides bead to bead coverage no area of the tire is left unprotected. To keep the weight down, WTB claimed the nylon fibers of the bead to bead insert reduces the amount of rubber required to fill the gaps between those fibers versus traditional puncture protection layers and round fibers. That's quite techy. WTB also claims the tire remains more lively due to decreased material in the tire casing. So in other words, the casings have not increased in thickness and they also claim that this technology helps with air retention attention. There's more about this technology on the related article on the Gravel Cyclist website, but in a nutshell, WTB is claiming increased puncture protection with only a marginal increase in weight. And this technology is only available on WTB tires, like I said, greater than 37 millimeters in width and in black sidewall. WTB kindly sent me two pairs of sample tires, namely the Resolute in 700C by 42 with the new SG2 puncture protection and the WTB Radler in 700C by 40 millimeter. Both of these tires I have reviewed on the Gravel Cyclist website and I've got those reviews linked below. So this video is not specifically going to be a review covering the ins and outs of the tread patterns. Let's do a weight comparison. So I've got an original set of WTB Radlers in 700C by 40 millimeters. Onto the scale they go. 523 grams. Let's now take a set with the new SG2 puncture protection technology, same tire, WTB Rattler. Wow, that's 508 grams, so it's actually lighter. That tells me my original Rattler samples are heavy. Hmm. So let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. I've got another brand new set of Rattlers over here, the original compound, without SG2, 532 grams, and let's get the other sample I've got of the Rattler tie in 700C by 40, 521 grams, so a little bit of variation, but in both cases, the SG2 tires have come in lighter than these samples. That's wild. Next up, let's do a comparison of the original WTB Resolute in 700C by 42. Now, fortunately, I've only got a used set hanging around. It's got a decent amount of tread pattern still, and it's been used with orange seal endurance formula sealant, but it's the closest thing I've got to a new tire. Onto the scales with the rubber band, you're looking at 462 grams. And the new variant of the scale, 700 by 42, this one's significantly heavier, 566 grams. Just for giggles, let me weigh my other sample of the Resolute, again in 700 C by 42, with the SG2 technology, 577. So that's interesting, isn't it? The Rattlers weigh less, but the Resolutes weigh more. Next, let's see how these tires mount onto the DT Swiss CRC 1400 spline wheel set, which is a wheel set I currently have under review on the Gravel Cyclist website and YouTube channel. Next, I'm going to attempt to enter the Guinness Book of World Records for Stupidity by simultaneously inflating these tires. One is the new Resolute, one is the new Rattler. Okay, let's try this. Never done it before. Hopefully they both pop. Here we go. This one popped. This one has popped as well. Let's get them up the pressure a bit. Actually, they're both holding about 42 PSI. Yep, I might just put a little bit of air pressure into both of them just to make sure they're really in that bead. 
Oh yes, they're in the bead. So, you can surmise from this demonstration that both of these tires mount easily onto tubeless rims. And let's measure the tires. So the Rattler, 700 by 40 in the new compound protection layer measures 700 by 38. So it's a little bit undersized on this DT Swiss CRC 1400 rim, which measures 23 millimeters internally. And there's the Resolute, and this one measures exactly 700 by 42, so it's bang on spec. What's next? Well, it's gonna be difficult to prove that this puncture protection technology works, but I'll do my best to ride the worst crap I can possibly find and see if I can puncture at least one of these tires during regular riding. Stating the obvious, this isn't my usual sort of video, trying to smash up tires, but I hope you found it useful anyway. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel, and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I've got heaps more content, ride videos, reviews, all sorts of crazy stuff. Tell your mates, tell your friends, tell your family. I'll see you in the next video.